Hello and welcome to the home of the Ghost Island. Here we are back for episode four of our Valkyrie the Bloody Campaign. Harganeth has finally fallen. It was definitely a marathon. And in taking the last settlement of Harganeth and killing Helebron, we're now besieged by Malekith and a secondary army. Now, our army is pretty solid. But Valkyrie is damaged. <clears throat> We have an army here, which is in March Dance, uh, that has taken a lot of attrition. So not too worried about those reinforcements. Uh, but we've got Malekith, he's got heroes, he's got some Black Guard, and he's got a lot of shades and shooting, which is going to be a pain. But what is there to do? There's nothing else you can do. We're at siege. We have to attack him before we take siege attrition, right? Uh, there's nothing that we can upgrade. No, there's nothing here that we can upgrade. So it is what it is. Can we win? Can we beat Malekith? I hope so. Right, fight battle. We have no option here. We, we have to fight this battle. Um, because we are trapped in a settlement. So, um, yeah. Right, what are we going to do? So the first thing I'm going to do is the garrison, which is next to nothing. We're going to run them over there, and just they're there just to delay the reinforcements. Right, the infantry... We're going to string them out along here, like so. Right, and then Malekith, we're going to put those two and those skull crushers into Malekith. And we're going to put the two trolls over on this flank, and we're going to put them after the chariots. I'm going to put the sorcerer in the trees along with those channel the magic do we get lucky no why would we right start the deployment start the battle and pause on critical battles um i always like to um pause and get ourselves sorted right so those three into Malekith, you're going into there, you're going into there, you're going into there. And we've just got to push up on these as fast as possible, in fact. We know there's going to be shades, right? We know there's going to be shades. Okay, there we go. Right, let's see. Master, behold. Not doing anything with Valkyr yet because I actually want the other guys in combat before Valkyr um, gets. So you can see we're already taking a huge amount of missile fire. This is when you wish you had that Nurgle missile resistance. Right, in they go. Right, in Valkyr now goes. And I'm going to bring my um, my sorcerer over here because I'm going to buff Valkyr. And I'm going to buff the hero. Okay. So some of them were getting into combat, some of them were not. Problem is they're running from us. So let's finish off that master. Right, where's that black guard gone? Black guard are over here. So I'm going to put the horn of corn on these guys. All right, the trolls keep chasing there. Taking action. 
Right, so Valkyr and that. Let's get you guys over here because we need to start getting you chasing down units. And let's see if you can shatter that one. You go after that sorceress along with you. Fat, let's buff these units here to help out with the black guard as well let's get that sorcerer down those guys are chasing down uh, that master uh, just got to keep them moving forward because they keep stopping chasing and we've just got to almost try and push them off the edge of the map Right, they've shattered. Let's go into them. Right, those black guard are starting to, to fall apart. You stay on there. You stay on there. You keep chasing them down. They've got to try and get them to shatter. It's really about trying to get people to shatter so they don't come back. Blackguard, of course, will be a tough opponent. And the elves are just faster. I mean, it's as simple as that. You know, we're losing... We're losing a lot of people here, but... They are just faster. Let's keep them going. we just got to keep pushing them back. And keep chasing them. Oh my god, Valkyr and the thing left the master on his own just to run around and do whatever he wanted to do. Thank you for that. Fact, no, you keep going this way, you go this way. Into the shades. Come on, into that master, finish him off. Right, those chariots are off. Actually, you go over like so. Good. Finish that master off if you can. Where are you? You're over there. Okay, after these ones. In fact, one of you after these. Trying to get the Dark Elves to shatter is the main problem at the moment. We keep breaking them and then they just run. Oh, there's Black Guard coming back. Master, behold! Okay. Victory's in our grasp. Looks like we've got mass panic over here. It, it's the fact that they all stop engaging. Like, literally, you should just keep on the unit until I tell you to stop. Like, if they r break and run, stay attacking. It would be incredibly nice. And it's all these ones here, look, actually, don't go after that. And 
you go. That, and these trolls still haven't sh Oh, there they go. Shattered, finally. Melchior the stops again. They're shattered. Oh, good, finally. Right. We need to get Valkyr to kill off some of these. Maybe. Mm, three, two, one. Is Valkyr going to... No, she's fast. She's going to escape. Maybe get the master at least. No. Okay, but a win's a win. A win's a win. We didn't lose any units. Close victory. But a win is a win. We didn't lose any units. It was just a shooting. Sheer amount of shooting, but we did get Malekith down pretty quick, which was good. Took the master down. The sorceress got away, unfortunately. Um, but overall, solid performance and we've got more units that can become chosen two more units that can become chosen which is excellent <clears throat> we got a banner of swiftness from it I might give that to Valkyr because she could use all the speed she can get let's have the replenishment Okay, so we did get one of them down. We got mission successful. There's our banner. We defeated Malachis. So we've got income from raiding, Pathability Frenzy. That's very nice. Path to Glory, we gained Mage Hunter. And there's our shield. He got a chariot. Okay. Right. Valkyr the bloody. Okay, then. With Valkyr, let's keep going down and boosting her up as much as possible so let's give her scarred veteran in fact, awakened. Uh, she hasn't equipped the demon shield which is never a good thing um, banner of swiftness good we've got that right now let's there go to Cormac let's give him foe seeker income from oh no no, 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 no. Magic items. Shh. Let's give him the shield. Talisman. Let's give him then the Dragonbane gem, like so. And he got that one. So he's got spell resistance and Eldritch. So he's got good missile resistance and spell resistance, which is good. Lose a battle and survive. That's a real pain. Um, and then... Skills on our sorcerer magical reserves. Okay. Well, there's only one thing to do, and that is to go and finish this army off as we make our way down towards the great arena. Okay. <clears throat> Turn 40. Uh, right then, fight the battle. Excellent, excellent. So this will actually wipe out the main Nagaron stack with Malekith. That will allow me to start taking some of the settlements back, giving them to the Mung, whatever, um, but move on Nagaron, and I really would like to secure... Nagarond, I think that would be absolutely solid to do that. Like so. I want. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Can I? I keep forgetting they can't uh, Vanguard deploy, which is the downside with the cavalry. Valkyr well, in the middle there. In the middle. And in the middle. Channel some magic. Start the battle. Okay, 
we're going to send her into the sorceress. Okay, everybody getting involved there. And again, they are running. Okay, cavalry caught up with them. And we get a nice burning head off. That was solid. She's running again. Valkyrie the bloody. Spill blood. Let's see what we can get. So we can get that last chariot at least. Yes. Any one of these dark shards. Okay. Not bad. Decisive victory. 13 losses. Uh, fortunately, our armor is holding up now. Um, and with the Vanguard deployment, we're just able to get on them much quicker. Um, and it basically just starts them to fall back and of course they can't move and shoot so um, which is incredibly useful and that allows us time for the likes of the skull crushers and the <coughs> uh, trolls troll speed just shouldn't be underestimated armored trolls very good shouldn't underestimate that speed that entire army is completely smashed to pieces um, uh, which is a result. Army replenished. Awesome favor and souls. Do you know I'm going to take the favor and souls? There you go. That army is done. And we've unlocked the Swords of Chaos, Chaos Knights, but they are undivided. Uh, exalted Blood Letters, which is nice. Um, and the Mung of Lost Target, which is fine. Valkyrie, the bloody. Valkyrie, good. We can continue to up her game. Now she's got a bonus to hit points. Um, okay, and then we'll get her into Deadly Onslaught, and then we'll start getting into things like Wound Maker, Deadly Blade, and then we can start going down the blue path here. Of right, building upgrade. So Quark, we're going to give to the Mung. Norska, to be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you there have my go. time. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, next is the Black Pillar. Right, let's have that. That's leadership for Marauders faction wide. And let's just have a look and see if there's one here that we want to take. Income. We can't have that one yet. Okay. That will be good, because look at that unit experience. Gain plus 15% for all corn units. Passive ability, blood greed as well. 
Death's Bounty. Effect granted by technology. Mm. Okay, let's go for the income. Let's go for the income and end the turn there. Is that the best they could give us? Still your tongue, so I may rip it from your... Nagaron want a peace treaty, but that's not going to happen. We need to finish them off now that they've done that. Plus, now we're at war with them, we actually need Nagaron's uh, province as part of our victory condition. But finishing off Harganeth has really given us that breathing space. Good, we've got campaign movement range plus 5% and battle reinforcement time. Campaign movement range is just so, so important. Right, warband upgrades now. Uh, here we go, so that is a unit of Chosen, and see that gives us anti-large with the halberds, that's anti-infantry, see the only anti-large we've got then becomes the skull crushers, and they're not anti-large either. So do you know what? I'm going to keep these Chaos Warriors with Halberds as anti actually Goes to 130. So I'll get... Look at that though. It's, it, you've just got to do it. Damage dealer. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. There we go. Okay. Uh, right, and our, what are we going to go for here? Bloodied Blade gets us to Builder of Glory. Demonic Pact, Milligan Totems, Dark Diplomacy, Profane Weaponry, and Honed Blades. Let's go for Honed Blades because we've got quite a lot of um, Dual Axe units. The skull um, will benefit. Okay. Be blood. And you can go into here. This will be an easy victory. And now the aim is to push on to Nagarond. Okay, right then, uh, let's take you, like so, with Alkia, everybody else is going to go like so, channel, start, start the battle, oh, Come on! Gee, oh my god, this thing drives me nuts. Are they broken yet? There you go, and it's done. Hundred and fifty kills, zero losses. Pretty solid, no problem with that. And it's just not worth the time to just hunt them all down in, in this scenario. I mean, we'd have probably auto-resolved it anyway in reality, right? 
though he'd have probably actually lost a whole bunch more troops. Um, right then, and we don't need to sack any more because we've done that, so um, we can just occupy it because we're going to give it to the Mung. Chill Road next, and then on to Nagarond. Actually, you might go after that army, then on to Nagarond, I think. Right. Okay, Grond. Yes, we can build it. Great Arena. No. Nothing to build there. But we can build here. Okay, next turn. Turn on to turn 42 now, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish off the campaign, but we'll see. Depends how many more battles we're going to have to fight. It's the battles that, that take the time. Hundred and forty one, hundred and forty factions because left in the game. One hand and take with the Algol want a trade agreement. Okay. I want to stay friendly with the Algol, and my kind of my plan is to go and find the Algol fortress that Sigvald holds and just take it, and they'll instantly be vassalized. Yeah, test our vassal there, right? Um, on to Valkyrie now. Uh, Valkyrie can't make that, so let's just go to here. To but we do have another unit that can be made into Chosen. The of comes for you. There we go. Look at that, we nearly got a full set of Chosen there, um, which is nice. Right, great arena we can give to the Mung. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Get some yes. money from it. Good, that's a result. Right, so she did take Harkaldra, so um right, and turn. So we're gonna take the chill road. I think I'm gonna go after that army. Um because I'm probably gonna have to siege. No, yeah. Oh Malachis back. He's in March dance. If I can reach him, I'm gonna kill him. Look at that. Oh, he's not. He's not. I can't reach him. That's a shame. But we can get some more on these guys. So let's put some more into Blade Shield and Earthing. Right, and we're going to take out this one. Fight the battle. No auto resolve in these videos. That, but yes, I would normally auto-resolve this myself. Though the one thing to note, because we've gone down Valkyrie's yellow tree, we've made her much better in combat and in reality survivable, because that's what we've gone down is the survivable traits first. Um, but it does mean she doesn't have that bonus replenishment that you get from the blue tree. So that's just something to bear in mind. Valkyrie the bloody... Okay, I'm not going to bother with the channel magic this time. We're just going to go straight in. Look at these pretenders. All warriors may claim noble ideals, but they simply crave the glory of taking life. For fighting's sake, kill them all. Very well. Okay. In they come. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Charge in some skull crushers while Valkyrie's taking them all on, and that's it. Uh, right. Uh, 
yeah, 141 kills, zero losses. But these are settlement battles, right? So um, wrap it up fast. Wrap it up fast. Very nice. Very nice. Much better than when fighting Hellebron. Hellebron was painful. Hellebron was just painful. Um, soon, uh, we want to get to the point where we're going to get another lord, but I really want those dark fortresses up beforehand. So Valkyrie's got another point, so we can give her Deadly Onslaught now, which is going to give her charge bonus 60%, plus base weapon damage and armor piercing weapon damage, which is excellent. Is right, Chill Road, no. Nothing on Dagrax End. Um, we need 9,000 for that. And we can get growth on this one. Mm, do you know what? I think I'm going to wait and I'm going to save up that 9,000 to get a level 4 settlement. We do have a commandment available though, so let's get some corn corruption. You can see the blood there already uh, corrupting the land uh, all the way up to the edge of Nagarond here. So let's see now what Malekith is going to do. So he's in Nagarond and he's got a bunch of armies there. Okay. And that's level three. And Garrison's not crazy, but... To fight him in it, I'm not sure I want to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go after Harkaldra. I'm going to start taking Harkaldra, Rakdo Gorge, Temple of Cain. Start taking the settlements around him. I think that's going to be the way to do it. And we're going to give the Chill Road um, to the Mung. Dominate, enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Assassin's there we go. Give that to the Mung. Building upgrade. Yeah, we've got 9,000, so we've got enough. Level 4 settlement, that's going to be great. It just starts to make... The, we, the aim is to get a start fortress to point. They've got an amazing garrison, and they're pumping out, what, I don't know, 3,000 favour, um, maybe more. We'll see what a fully upgraded... We won't get to see a fully upgraded settlement, but, you know, they do pump out quite a lot. They do pump out quite a lot. It's turn 45 now. Uh, right, Valkyrie here. Uh, we're going to take Har Kaldra. So we'll colonize that. And then we're going to move out of that and give it to the Mung. So then we're going to come down. I'm going to ignore Grom Brindle for now. Uh, and we're going to end the turn, moving on to turn 46. So we're probably not going to get to fight Malekith again. We fought him twice now. Um, I mean, look, Malekith is strong and he's got some good spells, but he's not the combat monster that Hellebron is. I mean, Valkyrie struggled to fight Hellebron in one-on-one -on -one combat. Okay, Grond, happy populous. Right, we're now going to move on down here. It's building plenty of stacks. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that. The and then Harkaldra, we're going to give to the Mung. Take what's theirs. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? There I we go. You. The thing by giving all this to the Mung is it should allow them to be a bit stronger and potentially a bit more useful. It's like, in reality, I don't want to even hold Nagarond, but I probably will to start with. Uh, but I can't put a big garrison in there or anything, so... 
Right, okay, so there's Rakdo Gorge, turn 47. A bloodbath comes. Right, Malachis now moving out. Ooh, this is a walled settlement. That's okay, uh, we can do it with what we've got, so let's go straight in. <clears throat> so yeah, Malekith looks like he's moving off with a bit of a stack. He's probably going to go off to try and take a few settlements back. That's fine. Um, if he can do that while we are taking the rest of his settlements, he's not going to have much economy left, and he's not going to have... Um, you know, he's not really going to have anywhere else to run to, so we're going to end up doing a bit of trading backwards and forwards. Hopefully the Hmong can actually send an army down to do something. You never know. Um, but this is where you've got the option. You could go into two armies, two lords, with a lot of marauders in, I think. Um, or you could go for one elite army, which is what I've got, gone for. Because at the moment, I haven't had the... Um, I haven't had the economy to have two armies of any of any substance, right? So Right, so they're gonna bash the gate down. The chosen are essentially um here to come in when they're ready and the sorcerer as well so the units that are going to break the door we've got those channel the magic <laughs> on the battle it doesn't count of course of course four three two and one and let's get rid of that First tower is gone. And in Valkyrie goes. Seventeen, fifteen seconds now. We'll get rid of the next tower. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's get rid of it. Where are? Why will you let me get rid of it? Thank you. For the blood god, for the fight, the skull takers throats. It aids ruin. For the blood god, corn and powers. Okay. Then these behind. Gate is down and in we go. This way. There we go. Okay, we've got the gates. Glorious Keep on those dark shards, please. Don't let them go. Too late. Bring the sorcerer up as well.
a solid. No, keep on these. Yep, you're fleeing. On to the next one. Into the next one. You got a break soon. Wavering, wavering, wavering. They're gone. In next. Okay. Apparently, our mage went in here as well. Okay. Combat mage. Okay, so nearly done. Sieges just take so long. When even when they don't just don't have much. That's gone. Next. Let's finish off these dark shards, then we can defeat this um, barricade. Okay, they're running next. And they can't have much left. Okay, now destroy the barricade. Okay, this barricade should be down soon enough. Okay, barricade is down. Let there be butchery in my Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Can we kill it today? Yay, they got it. All right, what have we got? Anything for our, anything for our sword? Not really, because it'll kill all our units. Finally, it's done. Ugh. And that battle. Sieges. Sieges! We lost eight. We lost eight. And we killed 731. <laughs> That's a bit of a result. The chosen, look at that. Double, double axe chosen doing a sterling job. In fact, getting the most kills. And we've got uh, more that can become chosen. In fact, we've got three more units, and that, that leaves just two that aren't chosen. So we've nearly got a full chosen army by um, Chaos War Shrine. Ooh, so we've got to change that. So let's do him first. So let's give him uh, a blade shield. We're going to give him Pierce Bolts of Burning, but we're taking him off the War Shrine and putting him back on a steed. The War Shrine is just too slow. It's just too slow. I want that mage being able to move around, and otherwise it's just too slow. Um, so uh, that's a result. 
Uh, building upgrade. Yep, so we can do that one now, which is growth. Uh, it gives us a thousand, so we might be able to turn one unit into chosen. Uh, so let's go for that last one. There we go. He's chosen. And can we get one more? Yes. Let's make him a sword and board one. There we go. Or axe and board, I should say. Right, turn 47. Now turn 48. Malekith there, creating lots of mini stacks, which he's getting out um, around the place. He's going to try and take back some of those settlements, which is fine. It's the fact that what he's taking back will have been pretty much... Uh, destroyed and the aim is is that we come around and he can't take them all at some point he'll have to come into my direction and I'll be able to take out that stack that comes towards us okay turn uh, 48 right so Grom Brindle he's taken quite a bit uh, right so let's come let's down bring to here Rakdo Gorge, we can give to the Mung. No. Quick deal is not what I wanted to click. Mung. Trade. Are you after a drink? A fist fight or both? Rakdo Gorge, there we go. Okay. Come on guys, you must be able to do something with all this territory you've got. Um okay. And that's us done here. End the turn. Next turn after Temple of Cain. So Harkaldra has been raised. That's fine. Honed Blade, so that's given us the bonus there. Rage for dual axe units, rank four and above, which is great. So what are we going to go for next? Do you know what? I think I'm going to go down here, Bloody Blade, try and get some extra corn corruption. More strength for slaughter. Okay, so turn 49 then onto Spilled the Temple up. of Cain. Uh, this should be a straightforward battle. So turn 49, we've got one more turn, guys, and that will be complete the 50 turns of this Valkyrie, the bloody campaign. Um, starting to expand a lot more now, and we've expanded more than it shows because, of course, we've given all the territory to the Mung. Uh, we spent a lot of time dealing with Harganeth, and you've got a choice. You can either try and get a relationship with Helebron early so that you get, like, an alliance. Well, you get a non-aggression pact and, and, and so on. Um, but you actually need her territory at some point. So personally, I, I like to take out Hellebron before she gets too powerful um, would be my recommendation. It, it's a bit of a pain. You saw us having to go through the pain of that. Um, but definitely I would, I would recommend going after Hellebron early uh, and dealing, dealing with her. Uh, right then, so start deployment, start the battle, off, oops, off we go. Like so, onto there, like so. Okay. For the kill. For corn. There we go. That's going to be a bit of a bundle over there. These guys are going to last about five seconds. There they go. Let's make sure they do actually go. Let's buff. We're not going to get the sword, so let's buff. They're all running over here. They're shattered over here. Okay. 
And they should go any minute. And they've gone as well. Fantastic. And that's the end of that battle. Perfect. So that's a solid result as well. We lost two, apparently. To some bleak swords. I wonder who we lost. I wonder who we lost. Corn infantry. See, corn infantry. They are just not quite as tough as Nurgle infantry. But they're definitely killy. They're definitely killing. We've got another unit there that can become chosen as well. And as you can see, what we're doing is we're going around and... Ooh, that's a sack. So let's sack. And let's occupy. Like so. Another skill point there. So let's give her... Wound maker and improve that weapon strength. My proficiency is unsurpassed. Okay, excellent. So as you can see here, that he, Malachis out farming out some armies, but he's losing all his territory in the process. So we'd be taking Kragoth deep, then uh, Hagrath, and then he's not going to have much left. And he's got to support this army. Um, uh, and, you know, if we start killing them off, they've got nowhere to come back to. So I think that's definitely the way to do the things. Uh, building upgrade then. Yes, we can get some more growth up here, which is good. Uh, if we look at the army. So he can become chosen now. There you go. Fantastic. And we're going to end the turn there because we can't move. And that will take us to turn 50. Now, normally, I would we'd wrap up. We'd end the episode at turn 50. However, we have a quest battle to do uh, for the Spear of Slaupnir, which is her main weapon. Uh, and I'd quite like to do the quest battle just to show you what the quest battle looks like. Um, and actually, we'll get to see how easy or not it is. Like, do you need to wait this long and have an elite army, or can you do it earlier? So let, let's have a look at that. So let's take Valkyrie. Let's move her out the settlement like so. And Spear of Slaupnir. So let's do, uh, before we do, let's just remind ourselves of the victory uh, conditions. So the victory conditions were Spiteful Peaks, Iron Foothills, um, which is Nagaron territory. Frozen City is out by Sigvald and then 35 and you get Winds of Power. This is the thing. It's a corn campaign and for getting your short victory, you get a bonus to your magic. Doesn't quite make sense, but there you go. Um, Mission-wise, though, Spear of Slapnir, that's the one we want. Uh, so we get Casualty Replenishment, we get the Favour, but the Spear, what does it give us? Corn Authority plus 2, Income from Post-Battle Loot, fantastic. Armor-Piercing Weapon Damage plus 50, and bonus versus large, plus the ability, the Spear of Slapnir, which is um, uh, essentially a spell which is good against uh, multiple units. So let's teleport and have a look how hard or not this battle is going to be. Uh, right then, so the Gleaming Pennant, that's leadership. So let's put that on uh, those guys. So we've got some corn reinforcements here. Look at that, we've got... Looks like uh, Bloodthirster. And so we've got a bunch of reinforcements. That doesn't say it's going to be easy, but we're up against Orcs and Skaven. Okay, it says it's going to be a close victory, even with this elite army. Uh, so let's see. Let us see. Okay, interesting. So allies here, allies here. We spawn up here. Okay, so we've got the Orcs here and the Skaven. So I'm guessing we have to defeat the Orcs as quickly as possible to then go after the Skaven. Okay, could be interesting. See a giant in there as well, so we're going to have to think about that for the anti-large. Here we go. Start the battle. Seems I will get even more. 
How fond I am of the quarrelsome, green-skinned simpletons. So easy to slay, yet just as easy to break to battle. And the Wrathmen, craven they may be, but always willing to brawl for their worthless lives. Perhaps some will be worthy enough to stay here and fight for Korg forever. Let us find out. Okay, that's a pretty decent uh, intro, I have to say. I have to say that is a pretty decent intro. Right, let's get our um, infantry up here. Let's get our cavalry and monstrous trolls over here and bring up the heroes in behind. So I want to get moving up as quickly as possible, but I'm not going to just send Valkyr in recklessly here. Um, I think that giant has definitely got to be somebody that we go after. In fact, what I'm going to do while we're waiting, I'm going to put a vortex in the middle of this lot. I'm going to put a burning head across this lot as well. Excellent. Okay, just got to hope for... Right, we're going to have to start engaging now because... They've got um, Arrow Boys engaging. Treason of Court! Fury of the Gore Queen! Battle Hungry! Alright, Valkyr and that uh, go after. Where's the. Let's go over here. And then the Monstrous. Let's go over here as well. Let's have you guys engage. Well, I'm actually going to save. I'm not going to use the Horn of Corn. I'm going to save it and use it against the Ratmen because we already have had to have fought one army. And we're going to save his magic as well for the rat men. Valkyr, the bloody. I want Valkyr and the hero to go after that giant. Unfortunately, because of the way the battle started, our corn units um, have all kind of blobbed. It's just not a lot we can do about that it's just wasn't a very nice uh, starting in the terrain it just kind of forced us with a full army to blob like this try and shatter as many units as we can Let's get up here and engage. And in fact, I want you to go after the Orc boys here. These units have all shattered. Go after the trolls. That giant still being a pain. Alkia hasn't engaged him. Okay, so the Skaven um, have won against uh, our reinforcements. So 
we've got to get going here. Take that giant down. They're running. Their artillery right now is focusing uh, my um, sorcerer, which is absolutely fine. Let's get them running. Oh, boys, let's go after them. Right. Are they nearly shattered? Oh, the old boss is there. Green skins are broken. Okay, excellent. Right, reform. Right, Valkyrie. Go after that artillery along with the uh, guy there. Uh, cavalry and trolls. Let's have you over this side. Okay. We just need Valkyrie to wrap up on that artillery. Okay, fall into position. Chaos is magic. For the blood god. Such is will. Moving. Okay, you can fall back. You're coming up the side here. going after that you're going after that and the two units of trolls are going after this gaze of corn that looks pretty tasty Yep, that was absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Fantastic. Let's get on those poison wind waters. Oh, look at that. They are absolutely hammering me. Okay. All right, what have we got left? Uh, rattling team. Let's go after the Lord. Skaven here, no match for corn chosen units. Valkyrie's stopped fighting again for some bizarre reason. Right, their leader is running. And that's it. That's done. Uh, it says it's a closed victory. Uh, I think 
this battle can be done just with Chaos Warriors. You might lose a few more, um, but we didn't really take that many. We only took 65 casualties overall. We did over 2,000. So we lost 65 and we did 2,000 kills. So uh, pretty solid. So absolutely, I think this can be done just with Chaos Warriors, uh, with some Blood Crushers, Trolls. Uh, being absolutely perfect you do need that cavalry uh you saw the cavalry getting into uh, particularly with the um skaven getting the cavalry into their artillery into their um uh gisales and rattling gunners poison uh wind mortars and so on really really important so uh you do need that cavalry to make the difference uh but a a solid result and given where we are i would replenish the army uh, we've also unlocked a regiment of renowned dragon ogres can be useful uh, and cormac now has a juggernaut and valkyr now has the spear of slaupnir um, making her incredibly powerful so 50 turns we've got her to rank 24 um she's now got nearly 600 um weapon strength her armor's at 130 6371 hit points uh and if we look she's got a 21 percent ward save and a 40 percent missile resistance 30 percent physical resistance 35 spell so that's excellent in fact you've got another point here so let's put another point in deadly blade there as well which boosts her melee attack up there um, and if we look at the quests here we now have all three quest pieces uh one of them was a battle one of them was raising or uh sacking and one of them was winning eight battles get all three and you get uh minus five control local enemy province plus five speed uh which is very much welcome uh if we look at our um exalted hero here we're going to give him plus 10 percent weapon strength now and blade shield he's now up to 768 percent weapon strength 768 weapon strength that is awesome uh and more armor so technically uh more weapon strength and more armor than Valkyrie, though significantly less hit points. Uh, and then Arcane Conduit, absolutely, and a boost to Burning Head, which is one of my favorite spells. Uh, Path to Glory, uh, not on the Sorcerer, on Cormac Comfort here. The only, the only, the main issue here being um, this whole lose a battle and survive. You don't really want to lose a battle, right? So uh, that's tricky. You almost kind of got him sending him in on his own and run him straight off the, the thing just to, to complete that. But there you go. That's it. 50 turns. Valkyrie. Um, Hellebron was the toughest, uh, um, but I think it's worth the time taking her out early. Keep the settlements that have trade resources, obviously the Dark Fortresses. Give everything else to the Mung, though the Mung overall, they're not really very useful. Um, but they're your vassal. They're, their heroes are off doing stuff, um, so that's definitely definitely worth it. And um, if Malekith does declare, he doesn't always declare war. If he does declare war on you, obviously come back and take. Eventually, you've got to kill him because you need his land for your victory condition. But if he doesn't, then maybe go after Sigvald first and get yourself another vassal and a couple more dark fortresses uh, and give yourself a secondary army. I think that would be incredibly useful. The only reason I've come after Malekith is because he declared war and he got aggressive. If Malekith does come after you, um, the best thing I think to do is it, Nagarond can be quite tough to take, uh, particularly if he's got armies in and around it. It's just go around and take every settlement around it uh, and that then leaves him struggling to, uh, to, to support his uh, own economy. And there you go. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this Valkyrie the Bloody Campaign. Next up is going to be a Village the Cursling. And then Belakor will be the final one, the Demon Prince himself. He is the, the Lord of Darkness. Uh, and that will then complete all of the legendary Lord uh, for Warriors of Chaos, uh, which will be fantastic. And once we've completed the last legendary Lord uh, for the Warriors of Chaos, we're going to do um, a few more videos, but in uh of like first levels we're going to have a look at some of the command and conquer series before moving on to the vampire count so we are going to break up a little bit so um have a a small break from total warhammer 3 move on to um doing a few videos for a different game then we're going to come back and do the vampire counts so there we go 
You've been watching The Ghost Out. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let us know why in the comments below. And as always, if you like the content, you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do, and it means a great deal for me. So thank you for that in advance. And I'll see you back for the next campaign, Village the Cursling, on a very magical battlefield.